This camera, part of a flying laboratory, is recovered by Clyde Holliday of Johns Hopkins, who prepared it for its trip to the upper stratosphere. Rivaling the fantastic imagination of Jules Verne, the camera brought back a record of a flight into the heavens of a captured German V-2 rocket. At White Sands, New Mexico, the huge missile takes off. Air Force pictures show the rocket in flight, and the flying camera automatically takes over. The huge projectile drops the Earth behind at the tremendous speed of 4,000 feet per second. The rotation of the rocket causes the planet to spin before the lens, and the camera photographs the Earth 65 miles straight down. The horizon, 720 miles away, and the curvature of the Earth are astonishingly apparent in this still picture from the film. An observer in the rocket could have seen San Diego, Salt Lake City, Kansas City, and San Antonio. Approximately 1,600,000 square miles of the Earth's surface was revealed. The rocket reached the 65-mile height in three minutes. This giant engine of destruction, designed by Hitler to annihilate allied nations, now serves the worthy cause of peacetime research.